talk to some law firms about collaboration and partners' eyes will light up. That's often the impact of anything shiny and new. Will it make us a better firm? Who gives a damn? At least our clients will think we're innovative and maybe we'll even win a trinket. It's tough to get it right. People talk about Wikipedia and suggest it's the way of the future. It's not. Most wikis fail and they fall on their face. The altruistic enthusiasm of thousands that made Wikipedia such a success is practically a one-off. Legal wikis usually flop. Internally, the wiki can work, but it's not a case of build it and they will come. It can only thrive in the right culture, and that culture can't be imposed. I don't think anybody has cracked it. They can see it working in discrete pockets of the firm, serving discrete purposes, but they try to replicate that elsewhere in the firm, and perhaps inexplicably, it doesn't work. Don't think for a moment that wikis will revolutionise the way you operate as a firm. They won't. They can help, but only a bit. The sooner people stop thinking of editing tools as wikis, the sooner they'll find a useful purpose for them. Lots of law firms get this stuff wrong. They embrace Web 2 for the sake of it, to bask in the glow of that Web 2 halo. So they launch podcasts, most of which are absolute drivel. There are so many bad podcasts that they're damaging the medium for the good ones. It's the same with law firm blogs. Most of them are dreadful, and they die the lonely death they deserve. They're badly structured websites under a different name, devoid of the regular pithy opinion that makes a blog worth following.